White eyes age the fastest, often developing crow's feet and deep bags decades before non-white people. White beauty standards have always been inconsistent and hypocritical. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to age faster than others? Why do fine lines, wrinkles, and spots on appear more prominently on lighter skin compared to darker skin? Well, the answer lies in melanin, the pigment that determines skin color and provides the natural defense against aging. White people are extremely ugly. It's just a fact. White supremacists love to push beauty standards that favor white features. But let's be real. White people have historically been some of the ugliest people on earth. From pasty skin prone to wrinkles to historically inbred royal families to the sheer lack of symmetry in many white faces, there's a long, well-documented history of white people being objectively less attractive than other groups. White people wrinkle, sag, and develop skin damage faster than any other racial group. Studies show that white skin ages more rapidly due to lower levels of melanin, leading to sagging, sunspots, and earlier wrinkles. White women often get smoker's lines around their lips by their 30s, even if they don't smoke. Sun exposure damages collagen faster in white skin, which is why white people start to look like leather by middle age. Meanwhile, darker skin people age like fine wine. Black, Latino, and Asian skin has natural UV protection, preventing rapid aging. This is why black celebrities like Pharrell and Angela Bassett look 30 years younger than their white counterparts. White people constantly mock others for their looks, but they're the only group that needs Botox by 35 to keep their face from falling apart. White European royalty married their cousins for centuries, leading to some of the most unattractive faces ever recorded. The Habsburg family of Spain and Austria became so inbred that they developed underbites, bulbous noses, and elongated skulls. King Charles II of Spain was so inbred that he couldn't even close his mouth properly. European monarchies kept marrying within their bloodline, leading to genetic disorders and deformed features. Even today, white rural populations have high rates of inbreeding. Studies show that rural white communities in Appalachia and Europe still have significant genetic overlap. The infamous blue fugates of Kentucky were so inbred that their skin turned blue due to a genetic disorder. Meanwhile, most indigenous African and Asian societies practice genetic diversity through exogamy, marrying outside of close family ties. White people love to claim racial purity, but their obsession with keeping things pure has just led to them looking weird, lumpy, and asymmetrical. Across history, society has viewed white features as undesirable or plain. In ancient times, Africans, Arabs, and Asians were seen as the height of beauty, while Europeans were seen as dull and unattractive. The earliest depictions of white travelers in Asia and Africa mock their pale skin and odd features. Even the Greeks and Romans admired African and Middle Eastern beauty, with many of their paintings and sculptures reflecting non-European ideals. Modern beauty studies show that white features are ranked lower. A global study on facial symmetry found that features associated with non-white populations were considered more attractive. White noses are often too big or too thin, making them look unnatural compared to the balanced features of other groups. White men, in particular, are often ranked as the least attractive group in global dating surveys. White people try to push Eurocentric beauty standards while history and science prove their features have been considered subpar for centuries. White hair is thin, weak, and ages horribly. White people are more likely to go bald early. White men often start balding in their 20s, while black and Asian men have full hairlines for decades. White hair is prone to split ends and damage, requiring tons of products to keep healthy. Meanwhile, black, indigenous, and Asian hair is naturally thicker, stronger, and healthier. White lips, noses, and eyes are either too extreme or too weak. Thin lips, weak chins, and large, bulbous noses are common features among white Europeans. 
White people love to mock full lips, but white women spend billions on lip liners to look more ethnic. White eyes age the fastest, often developing crow's feet and deep bags decades before non-white people. White beauty standards have always been inconsistent and hypocritical. They mock black and Latino features and then get surgery to look less white. White skin was historically seen as weak and unhealthy. In many non-European cultures, darker skin was seen as a sign of strength and resilience, while pale skin was seen as a sign of weakness. European aristocrats hid from the sun to avoid getting darker, but by the 20th century, white people started tanning because they realized they looked better with some color. Now, white people damage their skin just to look more ethnic. White people spend billions on tanning beds and fake tan products because their natural skin tone is seen as bland. Meanwhile, people with naturally darker skin don't have to risk skin cancer just to have a warm complexion. White people like to mock darker skin tones, then turn around and do everything they can to look less pale. The most common plastic surgeries among white women are to fix white features. Nose jobs to reduce long or narrow European noses. Lip fillers to get fuller lips like black and Latina women. Butt and hip implants to mimic non-white body types. Meanwhile, non-white women are naturally celebrated for their features. White women have to buy curves, lips, and tans, while black, Latina, and Middle Eastern women naturally have features that white women pay for. Look at early Hollywood actors and you'll see some of the most awkward faces ever. Audrey Hepburn, Betty Davis, and Katherine Hepburn were considered beautiful, despite looking average by today's standards. White male stars like Steve Buscemi, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Adam Driver are proof that white beauty standards are weird. Meanwhile, non-white beauty icons have aged far better. Compare Angela Bassett to Madonna, or Denzel Washington to Brad Pitt. Black and brown stars look decades younger. White actors rely on surgery, tanning, and fillers just to keep up. White beauty standards were created out of insecurity because deep down, white people have always known that they are the least naturally attractive group. Melanin is a pigment produced by specialized cells called melanocyte. It gives skin, air, and air their color, but more importantly, it acts as a natural barrier against the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. The more melanin you have, the better protected your skin is from sun damage, one of the leading causes of premature aging. When UV rays penetrate the skin, they cause oxidative stress and break down collage and elastin, the proteins responsible for keeping skin firm and youthful. Since lighter skin has less melanin to absorb and dispel UV radiation, it experiences greater damage at a faster rate. This results in early signs of aging such as wrinkles, fine lines, and hyperpigmentation. Another major factor is free radical damage. UV exposure generates free radicals, unstable molecules that damage cells and accelerate aging. Dark skin, rich in melanin, has a built-in antioxidant system that neutralizes these free radicals, slowing down the aging process. White skin, on the other hand, lacks this level of protection, making it more vulnerable to premature aging. Studies have shown that darker skin has a denser collagen network, providing better structural support and resistance to wrinkles. Meanwhile, lighter skin experiences collagen breakdown more rapidly due to sun exposure and oxidative stress. This leads to earlier scarring and loss of skin elasticity. Interestingly, while lighter skin develops wrinkles and fine lines earlier, darker skin is more prone to hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone. This is because melanin overproduction can sometimes lead to dark spots. However, overall, darker skin tend to maintain a smoother and firmer texture for a longer period. So, why melanin plays a big role in slowing down aging? Taking care of your skin is important, no matter your skin color. By understanding the science behind skin aging, you can take better steps to maintain healthy, useful skin for years to come. And there you have it, guys. Don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts in the comment box below. Until next time, cheers and have a good one.